crafty friends it's Lee here thanks for joining me again for another day of Defemaremba so Defemaremba is a challenge being hosted for 25 days of December by Louisa Heinzel and Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and um, links to their channels are in my description box um, so what they've done is provided us with a list of prompts for every day and there is also uh, animals to use so they've provided animals but um, I have actually drawn rather than wait to see what they put on theirs I've actually drawn my animals randomly from a jar and uh, allotted them to every day of the challenge so day two the prompts are splatters and playing card and my animal for day two is monkey so I thought I would make a triple pocket or a double pocket sorry double corner pocket from some book pages and then use my monkey which is a little uh, squirrel monkey actually I don't like monkeys I don't like monkeys they're a bit like clowns for me though they're, they're a little bit creepy and then I have the extremes of the playing cards <laughs> One size all the way up to that so I'll probably use the little one I'd say this is how the the pocket is going to look this is just a little prototype so I'm going to firstly oh look this page how's that where is it where is it the words monkey business is on this page that I've chosen okay that's oh. That's a bit of serendipity, isn't it? <laughs> well, yesterday I actually chose the same animal as Barbara and Louisa, uh, and that was before their video went up, so I had no way of knowing what they were doing. And, um, yeah, I just happened to pull the pull the uh, hedgehog out of my little jar. So I'm just pulling the edges off there around that so I'll, I'll glue these to get this together so this will be the base for my pocket um, I'll probably stitch around there take a little bit off that there. I, can't get, I just can't believe that monkey business is there I should highlight that in some way whatever I make okay so I'm just going to quickly glue it and the reason I want to glue it is just to hold it together so I can sew it. Glue them together. And then before I do anything else, I'm going to uh, stitch around the outside. So I'm just going to cut out those pieces and then do my sewing and I'll be back. Alrighty, so I've sewn around my pieces. I've put a little cluster of thread on that corner and I stitched around the monkey business there but I'm thinking I might put a little frame around it or something. Um, and here's my pockets, so I just stitched around them so they'll sit on this side. Uh, like so. so. There's my pockets. I thought I would put my monkey there. Um, I want to ink up this card I think. Uh, the way he's sitting there he's holding something in his hand so I'm thinking that I'll put this card in there. Oh actually no. I've got some of these brads that have got playing cards on them. The Ace of Hearts is there. So I could put the brad to make it look like he's holding a playing card. Just pop that through now. Okay, I, I like that idea. Um, there is one thing I would like to do with that because it looks so white and shiny. I want to put some alcohol ink on that to um, dull it down a bit. quite gone the colour I wanted it to be 
but that's okay. Okay, so he wants something else. Now, I did want to make a frame for that too. Let me have a look at my dies and see what I've got. So I've got this and I'm going to trace around it and then cut it out with a, a knife and that'll be my frame to go around the monkey business. I think I'm, I'm going to do it again. We'll use the same die but cut it. Won't cut in as far. I'll do that and I'll come back. Okay, so I've glued that on. It's um, a little bit wonky, but that's all right. So I managed to get monkey business to stand out there. Um, I want to put some of this stencil with texture paste on the page, on the paper I should say. Uh, and the reason I've chosen this one is it's got shapes in it that remind me of monkeys. I don't know whether it's meant to look like monkeys or not. It's from Pia Marta Studio. So. so once I put the paste on, I'll put that part of it aside to dry. And I'll do some other bits and pieces on the other triangles, on the actual pockets themselves. So I just want this to be where it'll be seen. In hindsight, I probably should have maybe not put that stitching cluster there. Anyway, it's there now. So I have some stamped lawn here. So it's got a little mushroom on it. I like the look of that. Don't need any more of that. I've got a piece of this stuff here that can go underneath it. I'm really not thinking that I'll decorate that at all. Maybe a little bit of stenciling along it. There we go, that'll do. I don't want anything on here to obstruct entry into this little this other pocket. So we've got I'll make that a bit smaller. I'm going to fray the edges of this a bit. So that will go there. Piece of that. Maybe on front instead of behind. Some scraps here on my desk. Looks like part of a bow. So perhaps a little piece of that. Need to put some paint, uh, some splatters on this. I'll use this gold this time. A little bit of gold left on that brush, so I'm just going to go along the edge here. brown sharpie here. So I'm just going to go around the edge of my little brad. Everything's dry now so I'm just going to put it all together and I'll just give the monkey his little playing card. So he's going to sit there. So I need to glue him down and I'll use, because he's going over a lumpy surface, I'm going to use this glue which is a quick dry adhesive and then glue this down then got this to glue down and I want to just staple these things these little elements onto this one and I'm just going to use my tiny attacher to put that on there and I'll put a little bit of tape onto the back of that so that it um, things can't catch on it. And now I want some more splatters. I'm going to put it in the book first. I'll put some more splatters on it. Okay, so 
is day one, which everyone seemed to like except for one person who gave me a thumbs down, but hey, you can't please everybody, can you? <laughs> Water off a duck's back. So I'm going to stick... Oh, you can't even see it. I didn't want to zoom out too much because you can see the mess on my desk. I'm just going to stamp the number two. down here, make sure it's up the right way, in there. There's no rule that says they have to go in order is there? So I'm thinking I might put this on a different page. Let's go here, maybe. I think it looks nice on that page. Okay, so I'm going to glue it down, and I'm only going to glue that. I'm leaving this open. I need to leave any threads that are on there hanging. So that can go there. Hopefully, it's on straight. Now I need to protect this page. There, and I want to put some more splatters, but I don't think I'll use gold this time, I'll use a different colour. Alright, so I've put a little bit of quinacridone gold out as well as some uh, turquoise. So I might just, I probably should have used a clean, a cleaner palette mixing them together to get a nice nice green there some of the excess paint up in this corner rather than waste it it looks a little bit like um, the Forest moss, I think it is actually the one that um, Louisa really likes. Right, happy with that. So splatters and a playing card and monkey. So my monkey is holding a little ace of hearts there. So that's day two of Defemaremba done for me. Um, don't forget to check out the playlist and there's links to Barbara's channel and Louise's channel in my description box so you can have a look at their playlist and um, if you like what I've done give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it let me know. You can give me a thumbs down if you like but let me know what you don't like about it so um, I don't know maybe I can improve. Uh, and in the meantime, take care of each other. So cheers from Australia. Hooroo.